Hello everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here today to show you my makes for December and it is a bumper makes uh, video because as I thought I had a lot more time to sew so I've sewn quite a lot. So I've got lots to show you so get a cup of tea because it's probably going to be a long one. Um, so I've already got two things on already so I'm just going to go straight in and uh, show you them and then we'll chat after. So, firstly, this is the Pussy Bow Blouse in the chiffon and it's a, it's a kind of, I think it's a very dark navy but it has got a slight green undertone to it. But anyway, it's a bit sheer as you can see and I've got it on with a little sort of lace vest underneath. I love it. I'm so happy with it. I just think it's so elegant. Um, it's probably a little bit cold to wear it at the moment. I'd need to wear it with a cardi but I just feel it's super chic, very elegant. And yeah, really, really happy with it. Um, so there's French seams at the side seams just because the, the, the overlocking would have shown through. Um, so it was nice to have that. Um, and just to make the, um, the cuff a little bit quicker, I've got thread loops there. So rather than doing the little bias binding loops as thread loops. So it means that they tend not to last as long, but it is a quicker, a quicker um, alternative than the bias binding. The traffic seems really noisy out there today, guys. By the way, I'm filming this at about half seven, eight, and it's just like pitch black in here. Come on, light, where are you? Okay, and on, on the bottom half, I have got my pencil skirt on in this scuba fabric, which I absolutely love. I think it just works so well. So I'm gonna step back so you can see. I think as a combination, it's really nice as well. It's, um, the two fabrics go really well together, the styles go really well together. This, when I was designing the pencil skirt, I was very much thinking of having it tucked in with a blouse. So this whole pussy bow blouse pencil skirt thing is very much the, the style I intended for these two items really when, they were, when I designed them. And yeah, I love how this goes up beyond the waist. Um, I think it's really flattering. Um, yeah, and this fabric is super comfy because um, it's got some stretch in it so it's perfect for this kind of um, fitted skirt because I have got this skirt in some um, I've got it in uh, I think yeah I've got it in a tartan and it has no give to it so it's the kind of skirt I haven't even tried to get into it recently but it's the kind of skirt that I used to wear if I knew I wasn't going to be eating much that day um, because yeah there's not enough give really in the fabric to make it comfortable to wear not the problem with this one okay guys that is two makes i love how i had to hesitate to count that so on to the next one okay guys so next up is this fabric and if you remember i wasn't sure what i wanted to make out of it and i wanted suggestions for other patterns and you did give me some suggestions but I had a look at things and most things just weren't suitable for this time of year and in fact what I noticed is a lot of the independent pattern companies don't have that many rayon crepe um, patterns so um, I ended up making one of ours but not with without trying to make somebody else's and in fact in my kind of searching for patterns I found one that I really want to do for next uh, month and so I thought I'll do that and do a pattern review of that so watch this space. But I decided to make a Nancy dress out of it because I haven't made a Nancy dress since since it was launched because I was then pregnant. So um, I thought it'd be nice to make one. Um, it's perfect for this fabric. I think this fabric's really pretty in the kind of floaty Nancy dress cut. I haven't yet um, uh, leveled it or uh, hemmed it because I only finished making it yesterday and we do recommend that you let it hang for a while so that it drops because there's certain points of the dress that hit the bias and I didn't want to rush it and then have to hem it again. So it's not hemmed and it's actually pinned at the back. I haven't finished that either, but I know you guys won't mind. So here we go. Let me stand back because this dress does need standing, standing back for. So there we go. You can see the nice opening at the back, I think, can you, without my hair in the way. Um, um, yeah, this is the size 10, which seems to be nice and comfortable for me. Obviously, it's not fitted, so the main area you want to make sure is, is, is going to be comfortable is the sleeve. And we did make the sleeve quite narrow, just so it makes sure that it balances with the looseness of the dress. Um, I think that's really important when designing, to think about 
you know, whether, you know, because if we made this a really loose sleeve, then the whole dress would have a sort of more of a tenty feel to it and a bit of a baggy sack, I think. Whereas the beauty of this dress is that, yeah, it's a bit 60s, but because it's got a narrow sleeve, yeah, it keeps it, keeps it right. Twisting in it, da, da, da. Um, Yeah, so this is my third make and this dress actually is not as quick as an ultimate shift dress but it's not as um it doesn't take as long as I um, remembered it did um which was nice and actually what I did with most of my sewing over Christmas is I um cut things out I think I cut most of it out before Christmas um so I cut it out and then I would just um, I've set up my sh machine in our spare room and I am going to do a tour of our spare room so I haven't done that before on the Lisa Comfort channel but I've set it up in there so it's now just there for me rather than using the big table in the living room I've just got it all set up permanently and then I can just dip in and out so I've been doing like an hour or two hours a night I'm really enjoying that actually so I've sort of got into a flow of that so I'm hoping I'll be able to keep that up because as much as I loved slobbing out on the sofa, because Jasmine was sick and because we have Jasmine, Matt and I did a lot more TV watching than we've ever done over this Christmas break. And it was just nice to have, do something else in the evenings as well. So I would do a little bit of sewing whilst Matt was doing the dinner and then we'd watch a film together. So yeah, it was a good combo of activities. So yeah, really pleased with this, love this fabric. And I do think it would be great as an ultimate shift dress as well. Um, I don't know if it would be good as a blouse because it's a bit bouncy and a, it's slightly heavier than probably it needs to be. Um, so it's more of a dress fabric really. So that is make number three, on to the next one. And the next one guys is um, my ultimate shift dress in this lovely mustard floral. Um, and yeah, really pleased with this one. I actually made this before Christmas um, on my lunch break and I wore it the other day to work and it was just yeah perfect work dress for me um, let me show you it um, I didn't wear it with a belt which I always used to wear the shift dresses with a belt but I really enjoyed not wearing it with a belt yesterday um, I just think it was nice not to interrupt the print and what I do at the back here it's got a um, back neck opening and um, I just stitched it closed so I still wanted to have the little opening but I couldn't be bothered to put a hook and eye on because not really because of the sewing but it can be really fiddly trying to do a hook and eye up so um, I just thought oh, I'll just stitch it closed and you could put a little button there if you wanted to but you could also just not have the little opening at the back because you can get it on and off the neckline is big enough to just pull it over your head if you didn't want to do that certainly it makes things a bit quicker in the making but yeah really pleased with this one um, I was a bit worried that this fabric was going to be super clingy but it's not um, I didn't wear a slip with it just wore my tights and a vest underneath and it was fine um, still a bit nippy for this time of year so I wore a, a little cardi with it um, and boots and yeah perfect perfect fabric for this time of year and I'm definitely going to wear this shift dress quite a lot so yeah pleased with this one um, how many more have we got left two two more makes to go Okay guys, next up is another pussy bow blouse and this was in the Crepe Georgette, well, actually it's not really Georgette, it's Crepe, um, army green fabric and really pleased with this. It didn't press quite as easily as the chiffon version so it's a little bit bouncy but I don't think that matters. I think it will be very easy to wash, probably won't need ironing um, and yeah it's not going to be as delicate to wear so I don't need to be as careful. Um, that's something I guess with the chiffon that you need to make sure that you're not carrying big bolts of fabric and rushing around and potentially pulling it so um, this will be more hard wearing I reckon <clears throat> and I'll probably wear it with Jasmine on my days off as well and probably wear it with skinny jeans I've got it on now just loose with um, some ultimate trousers I think it'd be nice tucked in as well probably wear it tucked in for work and loose um, if it's not a work day it's usually what I do um, and I always think army green is really nice with a red lip so yeah it's my cup of tea so yeah I'm really pleased with this um, so if you were choosing between the two fabrics I I think this would be easier to sew but if you've not used this type of fabric before it's probably going to be a harder fabric to work with because it doesn't press so it's going to make 
things like the cuff a bit fiddlier. But if you are thinking about doing drapey fabrics, I always think the best thing to do first is rayon because it presses really well and it sews quite easily. So if you're thinking of doing a thin drapey fabric and you haven't yet attempted that, use rayon for your first make and then go on to something like this. Right, one more make left and I've saved the best till last guys. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. Okay, this is the final make and if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will have already seen a photo of this. But this is my body splock um, from So Over It Vintage. Um, so really simple, it's like not got any darts in it, it's just a really simple loose shape um, with a kind of grown on sleeve. Um, and yeah, just really nice basic top for something like this I think it's really good um, and I'll just show you again I've just kept the trousers on but nice with jeans the only thing about wearing something like that this is it's a little bit uncomfortable and a bit scratchy so I've got a vest underneath it's not uncomfortable underneath but just like things like here is a bit where it scratches and rubs so I actually wore it with a cardigan over just to protect my arms and because these are such little sequins um, you don't need to remove them where, you, where you're stitching, you can just stitch through them. You just have to make sure you've got a good size needle on, so something like a 14, and that you keep changing it, um, or rather you change it at least at the end, because it does blunt it. But yeah. Um, anyway, a few of you have asked for a, some kind of tutorial on this, so um, I'll have a think about that. Um, on like how to work with sequins. Maybe there's an online class there on how to work with tricky fabrics, I'm not sure. Or maybe just a, a little YouTube video. But yeah, leave that one with me. Anyway guys, this week we have our sale. So if you've missed out on that through social media um, or whatever, um, you haven't yet found out about it, we do have a sale on. Now, we know we're quite unorthodox in that we don't have our sale on Boxing Day, but that's just because the team need a break and we do not want to have a sale on whilst we're not there because yeah, there's always lots of questions and things can potentially go wrong with the site. So we like to make sure that the full team is there when we're doing the sale. But we're all back now. So the sale is on and it's an amazing sale. So I went through a lot of the fabrics before Christmas and chose some really nice ones. Um, and we've put them in the sale section, especially for this January sale. And there's 50% off them. So there's some real bargains to be had. And then there's 20% off um, our patterns and kits and um, classes as well. So lots of bargains to be had. I've already said that. I say it again. Anyway, um, make sure you check out. Um, yeah, the I'll put the details to it in the comments below. But make sure you check out the site so you can make sure you don't miss out on something. Um, so next week, guys, I am going to um, do a video of my fabric haul. I've got some nice little fabrics ready to show you. Um, it won't be a bumper month next month, or rather this month. It's just going to be. Um, three makes um, I think just because um, yeah I'm not gonna have time to do as much sewing as I did over Christmas um, but yeah looking forward to making those things also I want to tell you about something that um, I was emailed about which I just think is such a lovely idea and yeah very relevant and I think a lot of you will be able to relate to this at least a part of it um, I've got my phone here because I want to make sure I read the details properly but it's hashtag SM Y L Y and that stands for sewing makes you love yourself um, and um, there's three um, women that have started this so Athena Kakao Kakao Kaku I'm going to put the links to their Instagram below um, Hattie um, van der Kroon and Lisa Kitsch and they're basically trying to encourage everybody to um, talk about um, how sewing encourages body positivity and how it can help you help you with both so um, what they'd like you to do is to sew a garment that makes you feel beautiful and uh, it doesn't matter what it is and then also invite you to tell your own story about how sewing has changed your life and um, how their body image um, or their view of their body image has changed since they started sewing and how it's maybe helped you through a difficult time now I know there's quite a few of you who have um, have had that kind, you know, sewing has helped you because you've told me through perfect private messages or comments on Instagram or this. So I know that sewing can do that. So it's really nice that this is, yeah, they're giving this platform to it. So I think it's a really great idea. I'm going to put, um, yeah, all the details in the comments below so you can check it out. But um, 
now on Instagram you can follow the hashtag so it might be worth um, looking up that hashtag and then following it I certainly will be so that's it for this week guys um, I have got Jasmine today it's a Thursday I'm filming this today on a Thursday because I won't have time tomorrow and my mum is still um, away so um, she's away for a couple of weeks or has been over Christmas with my dad so I'm looking after Jasmine today even though it's not normally a Jasmine day so I'm trying to squeeze the little bits of work I can do into the day um, but yeah it's a horrible miserable day out there so I don't know what we're going to do with ourselves I guess we'll walk Poppy and then maybe we'll just stay indoors and play games <laughs> anyway I hope you all have lovely weeks I haven't said Happy New Year have I? that was bad Happy New Year Let's hope it's a good one for all of us and I will see you next week guys. Bye!